Welcome to Investing in Intellectual Property with Dave. My name is Dave and I am an intellectual property attorney and I talk all things intellectual property from trademarks to copyrights to patents and the newest thing which I wanted to talk to you guys about today, NIL, name, image, and likeness. Now, you hear a lot of people go around talking about, hey, nobody's trying to do anything for our community. And when I say our community, I'm talking about the black community. Well, through this NIL uh, legislation and what's going on with NILs, this is the best time for us to help out ourselves. And it may not start with you. It may, it, it, it most likely is going to start with your kids, your sons, your daughters who are you know going on to play uh, collegiate sports, whether it's in basketball, whether it's in football. Those are, you know, at this point, the top two sports that's going to come in the most out of the NIL, but I, which I'll talk about a little later. It's other sports that you can kind of get money from or just get opportunities as it relates to NIL. Now, I, I want to share my screen here a little bit just to show you how powerful this stuff is. Uh, let's see here. This is on on three NIL valuations, and this is the, just the top 100 uh, NIL valuations, uh, you know, based on the athletes in the country. Obviously, you see here, Bronny James, Shadur Sanders are there at this point in time. They are the top, and this is last updated November 29th, 2023. So this was updated yesterday. Uh, NIL valuation for Bronny James is half, almost six million dollars. And again, this is just a valuation. This is kind of based on uh, on Three's algorithm. They're saying that this is what this player can command in the market. They may not be getting it. They may be getting it. But this is what they're saying that they can command, you know, based on on Three's proprietary software. But but let me show you something. This is the top hundred athletes. And as I'm continuing to go down, and you know, you're seeing, uh, uh, you know, it, you know, shows the, the, the sport in the. Let's make sure I don't go back. It shows the, the school that they go to, and it shows you the followers. You know, it shows you okay, Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, you know, his NIL valuation is 1.3 million dollars. Wide receiver at Ohio State. But just going down, as you can see, and I'm going to go all the way down to the, the last guy on the list or the last person on the list, and their NIL valuation is still over a half a million dollars. So this is crazy. We're saying, let me, so a half a million dollars. So for the top 100 athletes in the country, based on the NILs, according to On3, they're saying that they can make over at least a half a million dollars on the low end. The, the number one guy, Bronny James, he's almost $6 million at this point. And this thing's updated, I think, every week. But the lowest guy on the list uh, is still over a half a million dollars based on what they can command in the NIL market. So let me go back to this thing. And this is this is just collegiate athletes, okay? When I know in Michigan and where I'm from, state of Michigan, back in October, they just had legislation passed where high school athletes can participate in NIL. And it already had been a number of states that already allowed athletes, to, uh, high school athletes to participate in NIL, such as Texas and uh, Florida and some other states. But but let me let me show you this. So this is the just the top 100. We're going to go to sports here and uh, they're going to bring up high school. So this is just high school football. Can I do all sports? I'm going to just do football. And OK, Cali is another state that has NIL for high school athletes, Georgia. But the top guy in high school sports is getting almost a million dollars, over $800,000. But, and it's going to give you the top 100. So let's go down to uh, 100. The, the, the 100 person from a football, then this is just for football, from Texas, he's still over 100,000. So you have, from a collegiate perspective, let me stop sharing my screen here. From a collegiate perspective, you're getting the, the highest guy, again, Bronny James at this point, almost $6 million. The lowest guy is still making over a half a million dollars. And even once we go to the high school NIL deals, uh, the top guy is getting what you know over a million dollars. The lowest guy is still making over a hundred thousand dollars. Now, Dave, you may ask, Dave, okay, so what? Who cares? Again, this is th this is important because again, we all, as I said earlier, we all talked about, or a lot of people talk about, hey, nobody's trying to help the African American community, the minority communities. Well, this is the perfect time for us to help ourselves. Your sons and daughters, they're going to school to play sports, their respective sports, and we all know that. Most athletes don't go pro. It's less than 2% that go pro in their respective sport. And I'll be even more frank with you. Unless you're in basketball and football, um, okay, golf and some other sports. But the top two sports is basketball, men's basketball and football. A lot of other sports, even if you do go pro, we all know that you're not really making the money like that. So to the extent that you are fortunate enough to you know, 
participate in the NIL in college, you have to make the most out of your opportunity. Again, let me say that again. You have to make the most out of your opportunity. 